Hello, I'm Emma from eclecticwitchcraft.com where I write about the occult, witchcraft, and paganism. Today I'd like to talk about the proper ways to work with and honor Lucifer. The worship of Lucifer is becoming more popular, and many witches are setting up a Lucifer altar to honor him. He's not one of those simple nature spirits, working with this god can be complicated and dark at times. This article will provide you with ideas on how to set up your own Lucifer altar. Who is Lucifer? As the light bearer, he is a god of freedom, once the most popular and best known angel. He is often seen as a rebellious angel who rebelled against God after the creation of humans. To modern witches, he is a symbol of freedom and individuality. As well as being popular with pagans, Lucifer is also revered by Satanists, who honor him as the bringer of light and a symbol of the pursuit of knowledge and individuality. His is the light of success, and if you walk a balanced path he can help bring wonderful and amazing things into your life. When setting up a Lucifer altar, the first thing to consider is exactly what you want the altar to represent. Will it be a place for yourself or your coven to worship? Will it be primarily about Lucifer or about celebrating his attributes? An altar can be as simple or as elaborate as you want it to be. In my experience with him, Lucifer doesn't demand anything fancy from those he works with. What he does demand is an earnest desire to improve yourself and honesty in all that you do. If you are in search for light and enlightenment in your life, this may be the deity for you. How to Worship Lucifer Many of those who work with Lucifer say it's less about worshipping him and more about working in tandem towards common goals. Personally, however, I think the great fallen angel deserves reverence and some form of worship. You'll have to figure out what kind of relationship you have with this god on your own. Lucifer likes those who are active in their witchcraft. If you do charms, spells, and other spellcraft regularly, he is sure to be pleased. He also likes those that try to build a better path for humanity. This bright morning star wants humanity to flourish, to learn, to know, and to be better. The few who come to worship Lucifer with malicious intention tend to be scared straight. The god doesn't suffer fools, so his rule is either shape up or ship out. While Lucifer can be invited into your magical space through formal spirit summoning, my best work with this god has been through scrying and meditation. Simply sitting and speaking to him is often enough to enact change within and without. Color Symbolism for Lucifer Worship Because Lucifer is the light bringer and morning star, you should use light colors on your altar, such as white or yellow. You could also use gold and silver, or even red. You may have expected the color black to be included because the mainstream sees Lucifer as a dark figure, and black is indeed a good color for Lucifer. But when we look past what Christianity has told us about Lucifer, we can see that he is a deity of light, not darkness. Chances are, he will guide you to the right colors for your altar for him. I use deep, dark purples and golds to represent Lucifer on my altar. Symbols of Lucifer for your altar When setting up an altar to Lucifer, you should include certain symbols that represent him. Because Lucifer is one of the names for the morning star, Venus, symbols of Venus are also often appropriate for him. Represent the radiant light of Lucifer on your altar with these symbols. Dark colored flowers. Dark colored feathers. Rubies. Sunrises, dawn light, anything copper, skulls and bones, trees, the padlock, thorns, spirals, sacred animals of Lucifer. Lucifer is associated with many animals. In some forms of Christianity, Lucifer is associated with the snake in Eden that caused Eve to eat the forbidden fruit. He is also often associated with insects and birds like crows. Other animals associated with Lucifer include swans, corvids, all birds, goats, elephants, 
snakes, cats, moths, crawling insects, plant correspondences for Lucifer. Many of these plants are associated with the underworld and disenchantment. These correspondences are based on the myths of Lucifer as the fallen angel in the Bible and possibly the Lord of Hell. If you are interested, you can look up the plant's meanings on this list and research the plants in your local area. The important thing to remember is that these correspondences are for symbolic purposes only whatever form of plant or herb helps you feel closer to Lucifer will be fine. Lavender Mint Blackberries Sage Apples Pomegranates Lilac Rose All fruiting trees Camphor Gardenia Geranium Hyssop Black pepper Garlic Yarrow Cypress Offerings to Lucifer Offerings are used to show proper respect for Lucifer and also to honor his attributes. If you have an altar set up for Lucifer, you will want to make sure that you have offerings on it for him. Contrary to popular belief, Lucifer doesn't want you to worship him like some deities do. What he does want, though, is the respect he is owed for guiding you. The best offerings for Lucifer will be actions, like meditation and success at your job. Here are some great offerings for Lucifer if you want to practice Luciferian witchcraft. Meditation Your personal success Shadow work Offerings of his sacred plants Rebellious acts Activism Spending time learning Dark wines Dark candles Dark roses and rose petals a well-lived life full of pleasure. Not being a people pleaser. An ongoing effort to better yourself. Protecting your private property. Listening to your initial gut reaction. Lilith and Lucifer are often associated. I have a post all about how to set up an altar to the dark goddess Lilith, too. Key Takeaways Set aside time each day to meditate, scry or talk with Lucifer. Make sure you're honest with yourself when doing any magic involving the torch bearer. Try to keep your focus positive and your magic balanced. Don't get too caught up in trying to please Lucifer, just let go and enjoy the ride. Remember that Lucifer isn't always going to give you everything you ask for. Sometimes he'll surprise you. Keep learning new ways to serve him. Once again, I'm Emma from eclecticwitchcraft.com. If you want to learn more about Lucifer, paganism, or witchcraft, head to my blog right away.